Welcome back to another Epic Futures Space. My name is Michael Clark, and I had the opportunity to sit down with Blaze Sanders over Skype, who is the CEO of Solar System Express and also a lead project manager for the Gerben team, which is competing in the Google Lunar X Prize. And he's a really awesome guy. I just had a lot of fun talking with him. But unfortunately, the video quality for that interview over Skype was really, really bad, and it kept lagging in places and freezing. But the audio is just fine. So I'm going to include the audio for for that interview and uh, show you some cool pictures that are related to what they're doing with Solar System Express and the German team. So enjoy, and I'm going to be including more of these because uh, we, we, we ended up talking for quite a while. So here is part one of the interview with Blaze Sanders. All right, well, uh, I'm here with Blaze Sanders. Blaze, thank you very much for joining me today. Yeah, not a problem. So um, when did you first get interested in space? Uh, since I was five, actually, uh, I've been on home video for proof. Uh, my mom asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and before she even finished the sentence, I shouted out astronaut. And then just since then, uh, just been never trying to give up on that dream and keep pushing for that. So had a few internships with NASA, Marshall Space Flight Center, and Johnson Space Center, Johnson uh, Space Flight Center, and uh, just been keep going higher since then, I guess. Wow. When did you first start working for NASA? Uh, so it was my, I guess, junior, after my sophomore year of college, going into my junior year, I just got a chance to be a computer programmer, working on some of the old Orion capsule, some of the human factor stuff for that. So it's pretty interesting as my first uh, job. Absolutely. So now you have uh, your own company, uh, Solar System Express. Um, tell me how, how that first got started. Yeah, so after I did a few internships and got a co-op down at Marshall Space Flight Center, um, NASA's awesome, but in a lot of ways they're slow and too expensive. And so I thought I could do a better job uh, on the commercial sector especially with what SpaceX has been doing, uh, X-Core, all those guys, there's really an opportunity in the new space industry. It's not really a movement, it's an industry that's going to make money, and so I wanted to be a part of that. So what is it that you do at Solar System Express, otherwise known as SolX? Yeah, so SolX is a vertically integrated hardware and software company uh, developing applications that have dual uses here on Earth and in space. Uh, so the two core products that we're starting the company out with are a what we're calling a gravity development board, uh, which we think will be the replacement to the Arduino, uh, if any of the electrical engineers out there know what that is. Uh, just an easy way to prototype uh, robotic systems. Uh, it's currently being used in three schools right now in a wide range of things from a scanning electron microscope sampler controller to a UAV. Uh, to a robotic worm, so we think our product's a lot faster, easier to program, and smaller. And then the other product is the uh, what we're calling Project Daughtless, after uh, the Greek god with Icarus, his son, who flew too close to the sun. Uh, so it's a space skydiving suit, uh, basically like the bottom half and a bottom half of an Iron Man suit, uh, if you can imagine that a little bit. Uh, and so we have three customers that we're talking to with that. And then the dual use in that sense is uh, a lot of wingsuit flyers want to try and land uh, their wingsuit without parachute. And so we're developing the augmented reality, the control systems, the small aero spike thrusters to, uh, to allow the human body to have attitude control as it's falling. And then uh, some thrusting at the very end to land. Wow. Now, uh, with the Aerospike engines, um, are those under patent with Lockheed, or, or are you able to develop those? Uh, no, we're developing them on our own. Uh, they're small. They're actually a hybrid rocket engine with an Aerospike as the nozzle instead of the uh, regular conical shape ones. Uh, that allows it to be a lot shorter than it would have to regularly be. And it also allows for roll control without any moving parts because you can fire differential thrusters. And so there's no gimbling or anything like that. And we can still get the attitude control that we're looking for. So, 
pretty cool, right? On a personal note, I just want to say that I'm pretty jealous of Blaze for already have worked at NASA, been there and done that, and has his own company, and is competing in the Google Lunar X Prize. I mean, that's just awesome, and he's not too much older than I am, so I'm just very jealous of you for that. But anyway, very cool stuff, and I'm going to be including more of that interview and talking about uh, the progress that's going on with the German team and what they're doing. And uh, if you want to find out more information, you can subscribe to the Solar System Express channel here and the German team channel here. And let me know in the comments below what you thought about this interview and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and rate this video right around here and uh, we'll go from there all right well thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time